Hello. I uh, tried to stream this this morning and uh, it didn't go well at all. So instead I decided I'm going to try to record it. And uh, yeah, things went pretty south uh, when I uh, when I tried to stream. So, uh, so basically what I'm going to try to explain and I wanted to do it in VR, if at all possible, is um, kind of explain, like, the features of the, uh, the aircraft VR configuration format specification. And actually, it just got updated today. I found, uh, I found a couple of items that are uh, in the uh, uh, Airbus 330 that I'm in right now that uh, weren't... Uh, they uh there was no information about them so uh so uh i contacted uh on the slack channel got a hold of daniela she got a hold of uh chris and chris updated it so whoops so let's start at the beginning here so um so basically, this just kind of describes what what's available, and uh, what I have over here is this is the uh, the so it's a three thirty underscore vr config dot text underscore so whatever the aircraft name is so in other words whatever the dot acf file is basically you put that name in front of the underscore and uh, that's where uh, uh, that's the naming convention for the configuration file. So, with X Plane 12, they uh, they added quite a few features. So, um, so let's uh, and basically in the beginning they talk about the hotspots and uh, you know. So in this case we got uh, what do we got three I think. Yeah. So we got uh, pilot seat, co-pilot seat, and observer. So the observer is the guy that's back over here. So and uh and these uh so this setting over here on the, on the right here this uh two point uh two point three one that's basically uh, that's the position you are from in meters uh from the reference point because this here says reference point aircraft so from the reference point uh, that's how far uh, aft the pilot sets. So, so I I actually changed this. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, I changed this from uh, instead of uh, four one, I changed it to three one. So I made it a little bit smaller, so I'm closer to the um, to the to the front. Uh, than the co-pilot is because I they just felt better to me and uh, so that's kind of so that's what the and and if you have numbers over here that basically allows you to adjust uh, where your reference point is in relationship to the uh, the center of gravity the CG so uh, so that's this part we look here okay and uh and it just it describes exactly what all this is so and if you want to find this uh, website just uh just google uh, vr config and you'll find it so they're just talking about hotspots and uh what all what all this information means So then we go down to manipulators. So manipulators are um, these knobs and stuff, you know. Basically, it allows you to, um, if, if the original manipulator isn't uh, sufficient, it allows you to improve them. And uh, so they, so as it says here, you have a begin map and you have an end map. So you have a begin, begin map 
and whatever when you see this drag xy if you look in the obj file you'll find this so you'll find uh, they do it a little different in the obj file i think it says manip underscore drag xy i think that's what it looks like so uh so it's subtly different but uh but that's how the uh the config files are so what else we got here so that's it that's it so and what what all of these are is allows you to um change um basically the action ones allow you to add a, add a change from how it may be with a mouse to how it is with the vr controller uh, switch up count switch left right so trying to find okay so i'm gonna go so i'm gonna go to this one here this is uh uh so this is the speed knob push and then speed knob pull so i'm gonna slide this out of the way so so this is the speed knob now when you look at the speed knob so you have this uh, action command access not sure what the first two are this last one is how far you have to pull or push and then this one here disable visuals basically so if i come here and this is uh this is that so if i hold the trigger and i pull i pull the knob notice how far i had to pull it to get it to move then when i push then it pushed it in but notice also that when i pull the trigger you don't see anything now over on this one when i pull the trigger you see a line so that's what the to disable visuals that's what it does it allows you to disable this line but also notice on this one notice i don't have to move it as far that's because on uh, let me find it speed knob here it is so this is the heading knob so when i uh, when you look here instead of uh 0 0.2 it's 0 0.1 so I decreased that. So I made it so that it um, it's more responsive. And uh, the same way as uh, speed knob. Reproduction. Zoom. So, so this is really quick. And uh, so it's using the default. So I'm trying to figure out where it is. Air speed knob. Yeah, it's got to be this one. So there's nothing in here. So, uh, so on some of them, like you have, like here, you have a degree per action, you know, where you can actually control how far you, how far you have to, um, how far you have to rotate your controller um to uh to get a movement so like how far do i have to rotate let me find that one no but that's not the one zoom out zoom down uh Map zoom, let me find that. Right. Zoom in, zoom out. So so on this one here, I changed it. I changed it. It was 40, so I made it faster. And uh, let me make this one faster. So this one here. 
Let's zoom in. So, we'll go here. Get my keyboard out. And I'm going to make this one 20. So, I go ahead and save it. This is where I went south when I was on stream. So, advanced menu, developer, reload current aircraft. So, after a short period of time, it should come back. When I was streaming, it did not come back. Will that come back? So, this should be quicker now. Yep. So it's quicker. So that allows you to, uh, to basically increase the speed of how, um, of when you, how, how much you have, uh, how far you have to rotate the VR controller to make that work. So let me see if I can find where that is. Uh, VR. Oh, that's the grief for action. Or was it? Yeah. Yep, the, the grief for action. And then we'll, up. Access numb. Yes, so that's here, the griefer action. Now, another one I moved, I changed was this. So if you notice, when I hold on the trigger and move my controller, I don't have to move it very far to get that to move. Now, if I go over to the same ones over here, I haven't touched these. I'm holding down the trigger, moving, 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 moving. I've got to move quite a ways. So, uh, same way as this one. I'm almost over to this other switch. So, so that one there is switch threshold. So we'll see if I can. Hi, babe. Whoops. You okay? So... So let's see how many of these we got. Ooh, too many. So I added these. So, so basically, what I did is I I I added these. So I added this whole uh, thing, and uh, so so that has a two. So so that makes it, you know, quite a bit quicker. Or I have to move my uh, VR controller less to that to that and I did that on on this one and this one that's both of these so so that's that's what this is used for so I'm trying to think so I showed what uh, what to disable what the disable is, so that's what this one is. You don't see that. You don't see the uh, this line. So that's what that did. Vert map. I've not used it. Don't know what the purpose is. Sure, there's a purpose. So, so, but all of them that have been added in 12 have this. So.
think. Back to the left, right. These two have just been added today. Uh, there's, uh, there's four of them used in this Airbus. I have no idea where they are. I can't find them, so. But I just know that it's part of it, so. And so each one has like kind of a paragraph of kind of explaining what it is, so. But that's basically the procedure is, uh, so you go ahead and you make a change then you uh, go ahead and basically go to developer whoops developer and then reload current aircraft in art and uh and then the basically so it reloads the aircraft and it it basically reads this this uh update uh, this uh, uh change file it goes ahead and it reads that and uh and it and then uh, and then it'll start using that. So a couple of other things that I'm using here. So I'm using data rep tool. I wasn't sure this morning when I was streaming if data rep tool was causing me uh, causing the plane to crash, but uh, but I figured I wanted I wanted to use it because it it's so nice and uh, so in VR like if I do this so. This basically kind of resets. So, uh, this here is not, doesn't use commands. So if I turn it, there's no, it doesn't, I won't see anything here. But if I do this one, it does. So I use that, this name, and then you can go here, and then you can copy the name. The only downside is there's no way for me to paste that name in VR in there so but but I know what it is so I can I can use the, uh, the keyboard here I can use that to put it in the search area and uh, it'll allow me to uh, to kind of uh, find their find the uh, the particular command whether it's in here or not and uh, so if it is then you can make adjustments to that so so that this is pretty pretty helpful you know i mean so i mean i've been using data rep tool for a long time and um uh with with the later versions i told lee i says uh, hey that doesn't work in vr you know so uh he went ahead and he got it he figured out what was wrong with it and got it fixed so all right let me let me go through here once more thinking And I got everything I wanted. Yep. Yep, I think that's it. Yeah. Yep, I think I've went over everything I wanted, so I I'll go ahead and I'll stop the recording and uh hopefully this was helpful and uh it actually all worked and uh yeah, it's the first time I've ever been in a in an Airbus in the simulator, so it's a pretty interesting experience. So, uh, we'll uh, we'll see you later, and uh, I'll put this uh, put this up on YouTube. So, bye bye.